subject today is Jesus is the creator. Well, this is Advent and we're all thinking of Christmas and of Jesus coming to earth. So what's got that got to do with creation? But Christmas is not the start of the story. In fact, Jesus was there at creation. The Godhead being God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. So today we will try to connect the creation story in Genesis with Christmas through Scripture. This will mean a number of Bible readings. Please be patient and bear with us. So first, of course, is Genesis, Genesis 1. Um, we're not going to read it all, but we've summarised it into three main acts of creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, let the water teem with living creatures, and let the birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and everything that was living and moving. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And some verses from Psalm 139, verses 13 to 16. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So there we have it. God, Jesus, created heavens and earth, every living thing, and man in his own image and that means me and you whenever i think about uh, creation and the amazing things that must have happened at that time i'm reminded of some teaching by louis giglio and our house group will remember this and how big the universe is how many stars there are in the sky what their sizes were. Some of them are enormous. And the distances from each other is just indescribable. And there is a song that goes with it by Chris Tomlin, and that's called Indescribable. But I'm not going to sing it, but I will read the words. From the highest of heights to the depths of the sea, creation revealing your majesty from colors of fall to the fragrance of spring every creature unique in the song that it sings all exclaiming indescribable uncontainable you place the stars in the sky and you know them by name you are amazing god all powerful untamable Awestruck, we fall to our knees as we humbly proclaim, You are amazing God, who has told every lightning bolt where it should go, or seen heavenly storehouses laden with snow, who imagined the sun and gives source to its light, yet conceals it to bring us the coolness of night. None can fathom. You are amazing God. And yet, in all of that huge description of who God is and what he's done, there is Jesus himself and his relationship with us. So let's look a little bit more at Jesus 
and the role they had in creation. And Jan is reaching is reading from Colossians 1, 15 to 18, and John 1, 1 to 4. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. And John chapter 1 verses 1 to 4. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that had been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. So, in fact, all things were made for Jesus and by Jesus. Now let's look at Jesus here on earth, first foretold in Isaiah chapter 9, and also the reason why he came to earth in 1 John 4 and John 3. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And 1 John chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So let's bring all of that together in a prayer. Um, this is a personal prayer, and if you uh, would like to join me in making it personal for yourself, then please do that. Thank you, Lord, that you created all things by your word. You spoke and the universe was created. Thank you, Jesus, you are a part of that. How amazing that all the stars, all the earth, all living things and all human beings were created by you. Jesus, we do believe in you, that you are the Son of God, that you are the Creator, that you are love, and that you love me with an everlasting and selfless love. We believe that the purpose for your coming was to take upon yourself the sins of the world, including mine, and we believe you rose again and that we now have eternal life. Our sins are forgiven. That you, Lord, have done all this for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God 
the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This is our one true living God. Whatever is happening in your life today, let go and trust God, the creator of all. Amen.